गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज लेक्चर थर्ड ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ मैथ्स चैप्टर फर्स्ट एंड टूडे वी फर्स्ट हाउ टू फाइंड सबसेट्स ऑफ अ सेट डिफरेंस बिटवीन बिलोंग्स टू एंड सबसेट इंटरवल्स एज सबसेट ऑफ आर आर इज एयर रियल नंबर सेट फोर्थ इज पावर सेट एंड फिफ्थ इज यूनिवर्सल सेट नाउ अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज टू हाउ टू फाइंड ऑल द सबसेट्स ऑफ द सेट ए वन टू if the set a is given and i have to find all the subsets of this so as we know phi is a, a subset of every set right so in subset of a phi will come also a is a subset of itself so the complete set will also come right and one belongs to a so this set which is containing one is a subset of a and the set containing 2 is also a subset of a so basically to find the subsets of a first take one one element then two elements at a time and phi and the set itself right also subsets of a are we can say 4 we can see it's 4 which is 2 square now to find subset of a set b which is given as as 1 2 3 are first take One one element one two. This is a subset of set B because two belongs to B. Now three because it has three elements. Now take two elements at a time. So one two two three or three one. Okay. Now phi as we know subset of every set. So phi is also a subset of B and the set B itself. So we have taken this set. so it has total subsets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 so total subsets of b are eight, which can be written as 2 cube so here comes a note which is very important so a set which has n elements how many elements n elements has 2 raised to the power n subset and this is very important a set with n elements has how many subsets 2 raised to the power n as we can see in set a there were two elements so number of subsets were 2 raised to the power 2 in set b there were three elements so number of subsets is 2 raised to the power 3 so a, a set with n elements has 2 raised to the power n subsets clear okay there is a note that if a is a subset of b then b is called superset of a a is a subset of b and b is the superset of a now some common subsets are that n is natural number is a subset of integers integers are the subsets of rational numbers and rational numbers are the subsets of real numbers okay also irrational numbers are also the subsets of real numbers this is rational number now next is difference between the symbol belongs to and subset what is the difference between these two symbols belongs to and subset so belongs to is used to show the relation between an element and a set belongs to symbol we use the symbol to show the relationship between an element and a set and subset is used to show the relation between two sets the symbol for subset is used to show the relation between two sets and the symbol belongs to is used to show the relation between an element and a set let us take an example to understand this for example if suppose a is given to us as 1 2 3 and b as 1 2 so 1 is the element which belongs to a so what we will write 1 belongs to a but this one now in the curly brackets is a now this is a set right and to show the relation between two sets a is also a set now this is also another set to show the relation between two sets we use the symbol of see here for subset we use the symbol subset to show the relation between two sets so these are two sets to show the relation we'll use subset not belongs to so one the sorry the set is a 
subset of a why because one belongs to a here one is without braces so this is an element and it belongs to a also comparing these two sets one two belongs to a so b is a subset of a if we say b belongs to a this is wrong why because b and a are two sets to show the relation between two sets we always use subset so saying this is wrong clear clear what is the difference between belongs to and subset an element belongs to the set and a set two sets are either subset of each other or not second is if suppose one more example if we are taking this is set a given to us as 1 2 now this complete is another element clear 1 is an element of a 2 is an element of a 5 is an element of a and this complete 3 4 within the braces is an element of a now 1 is an element of a so 1 belongs to a 2 is an element of a so 2 belongs to a similarly this complete this with the braces is an element of a so now here this belongs to a you will not say that it is a set and we will use here subset to show the relation between two sets no because this complete with the braces belongs to the ele uh, belongs to the set a so this is an element of set a so similarly we can say like 1 belongs to a 2 belongs to a 5 belongs to a this element also belongs to a clear as 1 with the braces is a subset of a because 1 belongs to a now the element with the braces is a subset of a similarly this is an element of a so if we put it inside these braces now this becomes a set which is the subset of a why this is a subset of a because this inside element belongs to a clear now we will study intervals as subsets of r so let a b be two elements belongs to r here r is the real number and a is less than b then a b with these round brackets also called open brackets means all the points between a and b but ab does not belongs to this interval what this interval means that all the points between a and b will be in this interval but a and b will not be in this interval right this interval in set builder form can be written as x such that x is greater than a and less than b because this includes all the elements between a and b is known as open interval this interval is known as open interval how to draw this interval on the number line suppose a is here b is here why a is here because a is less than b so this interval contains all the elements between a and b so we have darkened this line the points which are between a and b but a and b are empty circle if this interval includes a and b then we will fill the circle now these circles are an empty circle next comes this interval which is known as closed interval this interval with the square brackets this interval was with round brackets known as open bracket now this interval is with square bracket and this is a this is known as closed interval what this interval says that x such that x is equal to greater than a and equal to less than b that is this is the interval which includes all the elements between a and b and also include the elements a and b so we will represent it as all the elements between a and b and also the element a and b so we will fill the circle in above the circle was empty here we will fill the circle because a and b are also included in this interval that's why here it was just x greater than a and x less than b but here we have included the sign of equality because it also includes a and b another type of interval is 
this type of interval in which a has the closed bracket but b has the open bracket what this interval means that all the elements between a and b but also here it is equality because a has closed bracket so a also belongs to this interval b does not belongs to this interval because b has round bracket or open bracket to draw it on number line it will includes all the elements between a and b and a so we will fill the circle of a b circle will remain empty next is this interval in which a has open bracket and b has closed bracket so this is the interval which includes all the elements between a and b and b circle is filled by because it also includes b b has closed bracket so here we'll introduce the equality sign or here the circle will be filled these are the four types of intervals which are the subsets of real numbers clear now for example if suppose this is given to you that x x is a x belongs to real number and x is greater than minus 4 and equal to less than 6 how to write it in interval if this set in set builder form is given and we have to write it in interval so this is basically x is greater than minus 4 also equality is not there so we will take open bracket goes up to 6 and 6 is here it is equality so 6 will contain a closed bracket clear next example is if suppose interval is given to you and you have to write it in set builder form so it is very clear that x x belongs to real number 2 and 3 has closed brackets so x is either greater than 2 or equality equality we will introduce here because it is here closed bracket also at 3 also closed bracket so x is equal to and less than 3 braces closed this is how we write interval in set builder form now comes the power set the collection of all the subsets of a set is called the power set of a right the collection of all the subsets of a set is called the power set of a for example if a is given to us then all the collections of a subsets of a are called the power set so power set of a is nothing but the collection of all the subsets of a so how many subsets of a will have one two five and the set a itself collection means to put in in these braces now this is known as power set so note if number of elements in a is m then number of any number of elements in power set of a will be 2 raised to the power m why because i said you earlier that that line was very important if a has m elements the number of subset it has ha is 2 raised to the power m so subsets are the elements of the power set so if a set a has m elements then the number of elements in power set of a will be 2 raised to the power m now comes the universal set universal set is the super set of all the given set a b c d if suppose two or more than two sets are given to you and they ask for the sup universal set so universal set is the super set of all the given sets for example a is given to you 1 2 b is given as 2 4 the universal set can be the c which includes all the elements super set is what which includes all the elements of the given sets so c will be 1 2 4 because it is a super set for a also and it is a super set for b also c can be anything but it will include 1 2 4 c can be 1 2 4 5 or any other set right work is complete exercise 1.3 now we will discuss the solution of exercise 1.2 which I have given you as homework in the previous lecture. So question first is which of the following are null set? First is set of even prime numbers. Even prime numbers. Even prime numbers. 2 is a number which is even and prime. So since 2 belongs to this set, this is not a null set because it is not empty. 2 belongs to this set. Next is y such that y is a point common to any two parallel lines. As we know, there 
there is no point common between two parallel lines so this is a empty set so yes this is a null set now next is question number second which of the following sets are finite or infinite you have to check whether the set is finite or infinite so the set of positive integers greater than 100 as there can be many integers greater than 100 up to infinity so this is an infinite set next is the set of prime numbers less than 99 so there will be finite numbers finite prime numbers less than 99 so this is a finite set clear some parts i have left for you because they were easy to do now question number third state if the set is finite or infinite similarly as question number second in this also we have to find if the set is finite or infinite <clears throat> so first is the set of lines which are parallel to x-axis so suppose if this is my x-axis this is my y-axis so there can be so many lines going which are parallel to x-axis right so the answer will be infinite set because there can be many lines infinite lines parallel to x-axis so this is an infinite set next is the set of animals living on earth so as we know the set of animals living on earth will be a natural number right the elements present in this set will be a natural number so this is a finite set now next is question number fourth state whether a is equal to b or not so a is given to us as 2 4 6 8 10 b set is given as x x is a positive even integer and x is either equal to 10 or less than 10 so we'll find the set b to check if a and b are equal or not so set b will be positive even integer and also either equal to 10 or less than 10 so the set will contain 2 4 6 8 10 as these are even positive integers less than or equal to 10 so now we can compare it a is equal to b it can be easily visible all the elements of a are in b and all the elements of b are in a a and b contains the same elements so a is equal to b next is a x x is a multiple of 10 so what will be x 10 20 30 40 and so on b is 10 15 20 25 30 so as we can clearly see 15 belongs to b but not to a 25 belongs to b but not to a since a and b does not contain the same elements a is not equal to b for reason you can give any that 15 does not belongs to a or 25 does not belongs to a right so a is not equal i have also given you question first of exercise 1.3 so let us read that fill the blanks with symbol subset or not a subset right this is a symbol of not a subset so first what is given this set contains a b c the another set contains b c d so this set is not a subset of this set why not a subset of this set why because for a subset all the elements of this set should belongs to this set but a belongs in this set but not in this set clear next is x is a circle in the plane another set is x is a circle in the same plane with radius 1 as this is a set of circle in the plane no radius is defined so it can contain circle of radius 1 circle of radius 2 or circle of any radius but this set contains the circle of radius 1 only so this set will not be contained in this set so it is not a subset of this set clear next is x is a triangle in a plane x is a rectangular uh, rectangle in the plane so this set will not be a subset of this set why because this set contains the rectangle this set contains the triangle this set does not contain contains the triangle in a plane so this set is not contained in this set so this set is not a subset of this set next is x is an equilateral triangle in a plane x is a triangle in a plane 
सो दिस सेट कंटेन्स ऑल टाइप ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स इक्वेटरल स्केलर आइशोशेलियस सो दिस कंप्लीट सेट इज कंटेन इन दिस सेट सो एक्स इज एन इक्वेटरल ट्राइंगल इन अ प्लेन इज अ सबसेट ऑफ दिस सेट